So today I got a little tip for you guys when it comes to doing battery draw tests and it involves using a knife blade switch on the negative battery post. As you see I got it hooked up here. I got the negative battery clamp hooked up to it and then it goes to the negative battery post and then you got your little throw switch in between. Well I've got my amp meter hooked up to it and I got the positive lead going up to this blade with an alligator clip and then the negative going up to that blade with an alligator clip volt ohm meter amp meter set on amps and we can just open up the throw right there and divert the current through the amp meter you can see I got a draw it's supposed to have a draw less than 50 milliamps so this is out of spec right away but that's besides the point what why is this a big deal and why is this a tip well if you know anything about battery draw tests you know that you don't want to interrupt the current flow to the battery and using this knife blade switch helps you to not interrupt that current flow to the battery. You're just diverting it directly into the amp meter uh, back to the battery there. If you do interrupt the current flow, say you open the circuit accidentally and then you reconnect the circuit, that's going to wake up modules. And I'll just show you how interrupting that circuit will actually cause modules to come on. You see I got 136 milliamp draw right now. If I take and disconnect this and then reconnect it, you can see immediately it goes up to 336 milliamps. So something else just woke up. So not only did I have the 136 milliamp draw, now I got uh, more current being drawn by another module or by another component. And you don't want to wake up modules that are asleep because that's going to throw you off and you're going to start chasing that module rather than the module that's actually staying on all the time or whatever is causing your, your draw. You're going you're gonna to chase your, your tail around and uh, you're going to waste a lot of time and possibly money. So that's what's so great about this. I use this at work and it's really, really helped me to uh, not accidentally chase current draws uh, in places I don't need to be looking. So as you know, uh, a lot of people, whenever they do a uh, battery draw test, they like to disconnect the negative battery clamp from the post and then they try to get their voltmeter probes up in there and keep that connection while they're taking the, the clamp off. It's near about impossible to do that without breaking that circuit and you're gonna wake something up eventually. So this way, it's real easy. You just hook this up before you even start your test. Drive the vehicle for 15 minutes or however long your manual prescribes you drive the vehicle. Bring it back, let it sit for 45 minutes or an hour or however long you're supposed to let your vehicle sit for. Um, there's different specs for different vehicles out there, so there's not a generic time frame I can give you. But uh, you, you let it go, you let the vehicle go to sleep, or you let the vehicle sit for how long it's supposed to take the vehicle to go to sleep, and then you disconnect your your knife blade switch there, and you read your amperage, and then you proceed with your battery draw test. Disconnect your fuses or however you decide to do your battery draw test. You know, it's fair to mention also that doing it this way, uh, it's all secure. You know, you don't have to sit there and hold your, your leads to your post and your, your clamp there. You just open it up, leave your amp meter going, and you can watch your current draw as you disconnect fuses or disconnect components. So it kind of frees you up a little bit. So. Hope that this helped you guys. Uh, this is a great trick that I learned from some guys at work, and it's really, really helped me to uh, be more accurate with my battery draw tests, and I hope it does the same for you guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Also, please read the entire description down below this video before you attempt this or apply any of this knowledge. More very important information is down there that you need to know, and read the, the disclaimer at the very end there. Also, please like and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.